Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the 16th Python with T. Kinter in a uh, the actual creation of a program tutorial video series. In this video, what we're going to be doing is actually adding the functions uh, that we're calling in some of our menu items. So that's add top indicator, middle indicator, and bottom indicator. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start, we'll do add top, man, Skype trolling, add top indicator, and we'll just say what. And what is going to be like, what indicator are we adding? And then we're going to go ahead and global uh, top indicator. And then we're also going to global, uh, again, dat counter. So if anybody changes the indicator, again, we don't want to wait maybe 30 seconds. We want to, we want to issue that a force update right now. So that's that. Now we're going to kind of throw in some conditionals here. So for example, if the database equals uh, tick, so if we're watching tick data, um, we're not going to be adding RSI or MACD and all that. There's no, no real reason for that. It's going to be really wild. So we're just going to throw a pop-up message. And we're going to have this pop-up message say, indicators in tick data not available. Easy enough. Um, subsequently, if what equals uh, none, if what equals none, we're going to say top indicator equals uh, what basically so that will equal none again so if that's the case it'll equal what and then we're going to set dat counter to 9000 which will force an update and we'll basically remove the indicator if if uh, from the graph uh, next we're going to say l if and actually um, we're going to go ahead and, and make that an l if as well um, apparently that's a problem that has been a problem uh, since the original program I'll have to update that on github Anyway, if elif, uh, and then I guess this could be really else. Um, actually, let's see. Nah, really, it needs to be an elif. So if, elif, um, elif what equals RSI, then we want it to be a relative strength index. So if that's the case, RSI, uh, we're going to call this RSI Q for like basically like a question. So when the user chooses RSI, it's not really as simple as like, okay, I want RSI done. Okay, so an RSI has a question of how many periods of time are we considering here? So generally an RSI is a period of 14. So say you're, you're, you're looking at a month, month worth of data, uh, when you, or let's say you're at looking at nine months of data, okay, and you apply an RSI, a relative strength index, generally um, it's gonna be a 14 days um, window per RSI calculation, um, but, some people might want to do 22 or five or whatever. And so you want the user to be able to change their mind. So we're going to be RSI Q for RSI question. And it's going to be a little window here. And it's going to be TK.TK, .tk, um, very similar to our pop-up kind of idea that we were using. Um, and then we're going to say RSI Q um, dot WM title. And this will be uh, periods. Okay, so this is going to be like a pop-up message that, or a pop-up window rather, that is like, okay, you've chosen RSI. How many periods do you want this RSI to be? So RSI uh, set the window title to periods, and then uh, we're going to pose the question to our uh, user, and that will be uh, basically we're going to make a label equals TTK dot uh, capital L label, uh, and then where is this going? It's going to the RSI queue. And then uh, the text uh, to our user will say, um, choose how many periods you want each RSI calculation to consider. Um, and let's see. That'll, that'll do for now, we'll keep that. Um, so that's our label, choose how many periods you want each RSI calculation to consider. And then we'll do label.pack. And again, we'll say side equals top because we're going to put a button below it. Fill equals x. And then pad y patty equals 10. Now we're going to go e equals ttk. And let's fix this uh, e equals ttk. Um, uh, period entry. So this is like an entry widget for tkinter. Um, and then that's for the RSIQ window. And we're going to say, uh, you could have it be blank, uh, but we actually, we're going to kind of, we, we'd like it to be, there to be a default value since a lot of people might not even know. Like, 
what would be a good number. So they might guess and, and throw in a really bad number. <laughs> so we'll just insert. And also some people might choose to go. The default is typically 14. So some people might just want the default. So we're going to go ahead and insert at the 0th uh, place 14. Just the number 14 will be inserted. And then we'll say e.pack, easy enough. And then we're going to set the focus, focus set on the basically what is filled in to, uh, into here. So now, um, now we're going to do, um, yeah, define callback. And then we're going to global top indicator and then global dat counter as usual. Uh, now we're going to use a get operation here for so periods periods equals e dot get so it's going to get what was put in to the focused e dot insert basically which is an entry widget so it's going to get whatever was typed in there and then we're going to say group equals an empty list for now and now we're going to say group dot append and to that we're going to append RSI because that's what the user chose and then we're also going to do group dot append uh, periods and then uh, we're gonna say the top indicator equals group now so that's gonna be RSI comma 14 will be what is stored under top indicator now we're gonna set dat counter to 9000 to force an update and then we're gonna say we're gonna go ahead and print to console um, set top indicator to and then comma group like that. And finally, once we've done that, we don't need our window anymore. So we're just going to do rsiq.destroy. So as soon as they basically enter something, it's going to run this callback as you'll see in just a second. Um, and then as soon as everything's done, it's just going to destroy the window. So actually hitting OK, really, it's going to run callback, but it's really just destroying the window at the end of the day and it's resetting a value. So now we're going to go ahead and do B for button equals TTK dot capital B for button. Where's that button going? It's going to RSIQ. What is the text on that button? It will be submit. And then the width of that button will be 10. And the command that button commands, callback. Uh, finally, B dot pack. And then we'll go TK dot main loop empty parameters. And then... Um, that's for RSI because RSI has parameters that we're going to allow the user to set. Now we're going to say MACD. So this was L if RSI. So now we need a new L if. So that's if it's RSI. Now L if what equals uh, MACD colon. Uh, let's global top indicator global dat counter. Then we're just going to say, this one's a lot easier, indicator, top indicator equals MACD. And then we're going to say dat counter equals 9,000. So in this case, um, this is much easier. We could allow them. Generally, um, it's like 24, 12, and 9, I want to say, or 22, 12, 9. I can't, I, I'm not able to think of it right now, but it's like 12 and 9, I think, is the second two values. Generally, most people use the default of MACD. I've never really heard of anybody that changes it, but in the future, it would be kind of nice to allow, man, it's just driving me nuts that I don't know the three values. But anyways, there's three typical values, but it would be nice to let the user change them. But as you can say, see, it's kind of a pain that took us to do it. Um, but eventually we will let the user change them. So that's it for change, you know, basically add a top indicator. So, so we, let's go ahead and run this and, and, and see if anything goes wrong because uh, it very well may. Invalid syntax somewhere. If database one equals, that's a syntax error. That would be an assignment operator. We want a comparison operator. Uh, let's try again. Okay, agree. Top indicator, RSI, pops up, default 14 period, submit. And then we say, okay, set top indicator to RSI 14. No problem. Awesome. Um, and then if it's what, it sets, it sets it to none. And if it's MACD, it sets it to MACD, no problem. Okay, so where am I? I'm over here. Uh, let's go ahead and exit out of this. Come over here to our shell. Exit out of this. And um, 
The middle indicator is going to take us a little bit, but let's go ahead and, and uh, we've got enough time in this one, I guess. So we're at 10 minutes at the moment, but that's okay. We'll just copy this, and this, this is what really pains me to do. Um, in the future, we will fix this, I promise. Hopefully, this isn't bothering everyone as much as it bothers me, but copy that entire function. Paste. And we're going to come up here. Instead of add top indicator, add bottom indicator, global, uh, not top indicator, global bottom indicator. Uh, that's that, that, that. And actually, let's go ahead. Is it? I can't remember if I capitalized or lower. Yeah, I did lowercase it actually. So copy that. Come back down here to bottom indicator. That's bottom indicator there. So global bottom with a lowercase b. I capitalized it. And then everywhere you see top indicator, bottom indicator. Um, this should all be the same. Top indicator, bottom indicator. Top indicator, nope, bottom indicator. Top indicator, nope, bottom, bottom. Okay, uh, let's save and run that real quick and see how we did. So bottom indicator, RSI, pops up, fabulous. And, oh, we need to change the, the text, but it did most likely set the bottom indicator. But um, let's see. Set top indicator to, no, set bottom indicator to group. Okay, save that and we're good. And now what we need to do is we need to do the middle indicator. And I think I'll save that for the next video because this one's a little bit longer and it's not as simple as this was. So anyways, again, sorry for the copy and paste of that function. We'll, we will fix that. Feel free to, some people say I should give more challenges in the video. So challenge. Combine these two functions, and instead it should just be add, you know, indicator, and then really we should we should combine all of the indicators, and then you know you've got what, and then comma, where, you know, you should have something like that. Um, so maybe we'll do that in the future, but till then, challenge. So anyway, uh, so that's that. Next video we're gonna add that middle indicator, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.